Chapter 61 Witnessing the Inheritance of a Generation of War Gods Butler Mang The decision is up to you. There is only one chance. If you want Xiaofei to have the fighting saint body, then take him to my guest room. Noticing the anxious Mang Tongyu on the side, Yi Feng directly handed the hard labor to him. Butler Mang, no, I don't want it. If my father knew that I have such a strong physique, he would definitely force me to fight every day. Such a life would drive me crazy. Looking at Meng Tongyu walking towards him step by step, Huang Xiaofei begged in panic. Let me go, Butler Meng, let me go quickly, I don't want the fighting saint body. Yi Feng stood in the corridor on the second floor, watching Meng Tongyu with a livid face carrying Huang Xiaofei who was struggling wildly upstairs and was extremely glad for the decision he had just made, otherwise this hard labor would be his. In the guest room. No, no. Huang Xiaofei was about to go crazy when he saw a fragment emitting strange power in Yifeng's hand, but he couldn't move at all, because his body was held down by Meng Tongyu. 1. 10. 50. It was unknown how long it took but when Huang Xiaofei merged the power of 10,000 pieces of the fighting saint body fragments, a dazzling golden light appeared around him, and at the same time, a terrifying aura as if from ancient times burst out, instantly sweeping the entire town. Although the terrifying aura was fleeting, it made everyone in the town immersed in endless fear at this moment. A desolate space, the earth had long been dyed blood red. The ground was full of broken limbs and corpses, including human, monster, and unknown creatures. Not far away, on a pile of corpses made of countless corpses, a man covered in blood was screaming at the sky. The countless deep wounds on his body made people feel terrified just by seeing it. At this moment, a space crack that tore the sky suddenly appeared, and countless monsters, unknown creatures, and human armies rushed out of the space crack. Fight. 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 A series of low but excited voices came from the man's mouth. As the dazzling golden light appeared around him, the man pulled out the bloody sword stuck in the corpse mountain beside him and rushed directly towards the countless enemies in the distance. As the man's figure got farther and farther away, Huang Shafei's figure appeared closer and closer in the sight of Yi Feng and Meng Tongyu as if they had witnessed the inheritance of a generation of war gods with their own eyes. Huh. 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 When the two woke up from the illusion just now, they began to breathe heavily. System, damn it, you call this a broken constitution. Yi Feng also cursed the system in his heart at this time. In his opinion, this fighting saint body was so awesome. Fighting Saint Body, what a terrifying fighting Saint Body. If the young master does not change himself, he is not worthy of this fighting Saint Body. Meng Tongyu stared at Huang Xiaofei and made an extremely crazy decision in his heart. Gulp. Huang Xiaofei, who knew nothing, looked at the terrifying eyes of the two people looking at him, which made him swallow his saliva and feel uneasy. Ding. Congratulations to the host for squandering all the waste products today. Reward 1000 waste points and reward 9th grade 9th level Inyang Mystery Array Flag Asterisk 3. 9th grade 9th level Inyang Mystery Array Flag. Release a little spiritual power to activate the Array Flag, and you can immediately set up a Inyang Mystery Array that is enough to trap the peak of the 9th level of the Tribulation Realm. It lasts for 10 hours and is a one-time consumable. This flag does not trigger the prodigal reward. Huh. This reward is not bad. It just takes three days to get to Xinghuan sect. With this flag, I can sleep well every night without worrying about being disturbed. Although this flag is definitely one of the powerful trump cards in the hands of others, for the prodigal rich man you phone, being able to use this flag when sleeping at night is already a great honor for this ninth grade and ninth level flag. Brother Yi, is it done? Why don't I feel anything? But let me make it clear first. No matter how powerful this fighting saint body is, if it is buried in my hands, don't blame me. I said I don't want it. 
Huang Xiaofei moved his body again and still didn't feel anything strange in his body. He hurriedly said to Yi Feng. No. After we send Yi Xiao back to the sect, I will apply to the president to personally guide you. Every battle I guide you in the future will be a life and death battle. If you don't fight me with all your strength, I will never hold back. If you die, your subordinates will accompany you. Hearing this cold voice, Yi Feng and Huang Xiaofei both looked at the expressionless Meng Tanyu with an expression of disbelief. Xiaofei, wish you the best. Butler Meng is definitely not joking. You will never know what we two just witnessed. Patting Huang Xiaofei on the shoulder, Yi Feng left the guest room directly. He understood Meng Tanyu's decision because the scene he saw before was really shocking. Ten minutes later, Meng Tanyu took Yi Feng and Huang Xiaofei out of the town and headed towards Xinghuan sect again. A day passed in the blink of an eye. As night fell, because there was no town nearby, they could only find a spacious place to rest. Yi Feng didn't know what Meng Tanyu said to Huang Xiaofei after he left, but Huang Xiaofei became unusually quiet during this day, and no one knew what he was thinking. Butler Meng, please guide me from now on. Just as Yi Feng was lying on the spiritual stone bed built with spiritual stones and preparing to rest, Huang Xiaofei, who had been silent all day, finally spoke. What's going on? Didn't he strongly resist before? How did he change after just one day? Looking at Huang Xiaofei with a serious face, Yi Feng suddenly felt that the other party had cheated him of his fighting saint body. But the system gave a reward, which was enough to prove that giving the fighting saint body to Huang Xiaofei was indeed a waste of money, so Yi Feng was very curious now, why did Huang Xiaofei make such a decision? Forget it. Yi Feng originally wanted to use the function of peeping into the secrets to know the secret, but finally gave up. If he knew everything, it would be too boring. Peng. 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 Seeing the two men fighting with swords in hand, Yi Feng casually took out the formation flag, released a trace of spiritual energy to activate the formation flag and then looked at the black formation flag flying directly over the three people and muttered to himself, You fight yours, I sleep mine, with the formation flag here, no one will disturb us. As he said, Yi Feng took out another 109 pattern blood ginseng pills and put them aside, then he lay down on the spirit stone bed and fell asleep. What the three of them didn't know was that an old man in a gray robe was rushing towards them at full speed. If nothing unexpected happened, he would arrive at their location in a few minutes. Chapter 62, Raise the Middle Finger Chapter 63, I am a spendthrift, but I am not a waste. Ah! Feeling Yi Feng's endless humiliation of himself, Meng Haifeng furiously released the huge spiritual energy in his body and began to bombard the surroundings frantically, trying to find the hidden formation flag. Two hours later, Meng Haifeng, who had consumed most of his spiritual power, finally calmed down and stopped wasting his spiritual power. Instead, he sat cross-legged and swallowed a pill to restore his spiritual power and began to practice. On the other side, You two big fools, I'm afraid you don't know that I blocked the enemy for you last night. Thinking of the grey-robed old man staring at Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tanyu with angry eyes, Yi Feng thought that he was definitely the enemy of the two. After all, a chamber of commerce that has been passed down for thousands of years, how could there be no enemies in this world of the survival of the fittest? Not to mention that Huang Xiaofei is the young master of the chamber of commerce. Isn't it normal for the opponent to come and kill him after hearing the news? Today's prodigal product, nine-veined blood ginseng pill asterisk 10,000. Damn. When Yi Feng found out that today's prodigal product was 10,000 nine-veined blood ginseng pills, he couldn't help but swear, there are still more than 300 pills left from the 1,000 pills awarded before. The most important thing is that the 10,000 pills must be spent today. Thinking of the situation that the three people each ate more than 200 pills and were full, he felt that today's waste product was a bit tricky. Wait. 
Why must it be eaten up? Can't I just throw it away casually? Thinking of this, Yi Feng asked the system directly, System, this nine pattern eighth grade blood ginseng pill is a lost pill. I threw it hard along the way. Either it was not discovered and buried in the less in the end, or even if it was picked up by someone, there must be many people who don't know the value of it. Maybe it will be eaten by some passing monsters. This should be considered a wasteful behavior. Ding. It meets the wasteful behavior. After ten seconds, the system's voice sounded. Okay. Hearing the system's answer, Yi Feng also laughed. As long as the system admits that this is a wasteful behavior, then there is no need to care about it after throwing it away. Even if it is picked up by people who know the value of it, it has nothing to do with him. I think we haven't had breakfast yet. Hearing Yi Feng's question, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu also looked over, and at the same time, a hint of embarrassment appeared on their faces. Brother Yi, this is our fault. We didn't consider the possibility of sleeping outdoors before. Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng with apology at this time. What are you apologizing for? I'm just reminding you that you don't have breakfast, but I do. As he said that, Yi Feng took out handfuls of nine pattern blood ginseng pills. Uh. When the two saw the nine pattern blood ginseng pills in Yi Feng's hand, they looked at each other and smiled bitterly. Without pretending to be cool, they were really tired of eating. Even though the nine pattern blood ginseng pills tasted good, they had only eaten more than 200 pills the day before yesterday, so they were really tired at once. At least they really didn't want to eat any more in the short term. Last night, the two of them fought desperately. If they had other high-grade healing pills, they would never eat a single nine-pattern blood ginseng pill. What are you doing? Eat quickly. Seeing the two of them standing there, Yi Feng urged them directly. Three minutes later. When both of them had eaten thirty or forty blood ginseng pills, they found that Yi Feng did not eat, but watched them eat silently. Meng Tong Yu asked in confusion, Young Master Yi, why don't you eat? You guys eat, I'm not hungry. Yi Feng looked at Meng Tong Yu and explained with a smile. Hearing this, the two people's right hands that kept stuffing blood ginseng pills into their mouths paused, looked at each other but did not say anything, and continued to eat. Finally, when the two of them ate more than 200 pills, they waved their hands to indicate that Yi Feng and the others really couldn't eat any more. If you're full, move around. I still have more than 9,009 patterned blood ginseng pills here. Butler Meng, you continue to control the flying sword and hurry on. Xiaofei, you are responsible for throwing out the blood ginseng pills along the way. Hearing this, Huang Xiaofei hurriedly said, Brother Yi, this is not a good idea. If someone picks it up, it may affect the Chamber of Commerce's plan to exclusively sell blood ginseng pills and these are all nine-patterned blood ginseng pills. Shafei, you are the young master of the Chamber of Commerce, how come you don't have any business sense at all? Even if these are nine-patterned blood ginseng pills, there are only more than 9,000 pills after all, and one less pill will be used. Looking at the entire Shantian continent, what are these blood ginseng pills? Don't say I look down on them. I'm talking about your Chamber of Commerce. Even if I gave you the recipe, can the alchemists, trained by your chamber of commerce, refine the nine-patterned blood ginseng pill? Even if they can refine it, how many people can afford the nine-patterned blood ginseng pill? Aren't the blood ginseng pills that can be sold in large quantities the five dash, six dash, and seven-patterned ones? And your chamber of commerce is facing the entire Shantian continent. As long as there are enough alchemists, how many blood ginseng pills can be sold every day? One hundred thousand? One million? Hearing Yi Feng's lecture, Huang Xiaofei also became embarrassed. As Yi Feng said, the blood ginseng pills sold by their chamber of commerce every day in the future will be tens of millions, and there is no need to care about these more than nine thousand pills. So what if it's nine patterned? 
how many people can afford it? Brother Yi, Xiaofei has learned a lesson. Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng sincerely and said. Time passed, and when night fell again, Huang Xiaofei finally threw out the last blood ginseng pill. At the same time, Yi Feng successfully received a reward of 1,000 prodigal points, but there was no special reward. No town was seen along the way, and the three could only camp outdoors for one night again. You guys continue to fight. This time, Yi Feng surprisingly did not lie on the built spiritual stone bed to sleep, because there was only one lasting young mystery flag left, so he was going to keep watch today. If the grey-robed old man dared to chase him again, he would throw him out directly. You two guys, I'm really worried about you. Looking at Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu fighting together again, Yi Feng felt that he was simply the reincarnation of the savior, not seeking fame or profit, and silently guarding the two. Ding. Remind the host, the host can go to sleep with peace of mind. If you encounter danger, the prodigal guard will come to protect you on their own. At this moment, the system's prompt sound suddenly rang. System, I may be a spendthrift, but I am not a loser. If I need a spendthrift guard for everything, I will feel like I am useless after a while. Also, I could have used those pill jars, martial arts jars, spiritual herb jars, and so on to infinitely earn points, but why didn't I do that? I just didn't want to be a machine that only knew how to earn points. In his previous life, Yi Feng was an overtime worker. What's the difference between the points he earned now and the salary in his previous life? He doesn't want to live like that anymore. He wants to earn points while enjoying life. Just like playing games, in this life, he wants to enjoy the fun brought by games instead of being controlled by them. Thinking of this, Yi Feng also smiled bitterly. He worked overtime for a year in his previous life. He finally gave himself a day off. He thought about playing games all night and sleeping well the next day. Who would have thought that he would directly cross to this Shantian continent? Chapter 64 Dam, Brother Yi, are you playing so perverted? On the other side, as the power of the formation flag disappeared, Meng Haifeng suppressed his anger and chased after Meng Tongyu again with the blood jade in his hand that could sense his approximate location. After a while, Meng Haifeng, who was standing on the flying sword, suddenly flew quickly towards the ground below. This, this is the nine-pattern blood ginseng pill. Seeing that there were at least a dozen nine-pattern blood ginseng pills around, and even more than half of the blood ginseng pills were smashed to pieces, Meng Haifeng felt that his heart was bleeding. Spendthrift? What a spendthrift! Meng Haifeng had already thought that these blood ginseng pills were definitely thrown away by Yi Feng, but he still carefully picked up all the complete and broken blood ginseng pills and put them into the space ring. Afterwards, Meng Haifeng did not control the flying sword to soar into the sky, but maintained a height of one meter above the ground, while continuing to chase in the direction of Meng Tongyu, while releasing his spiritual sense to find out whether there were any thrown away blood ginseng pills around. One hour. Two hours. Three hours. When Meng Haifeng found that he had found more than 500 complete blood ginseng pills and more than 2,000 broken blood ginseng pills, he was so angry that his whole body shook uncontrollably. Even if these legendary blood ginseng pills were originally someone else's, he could not accept that these blood ginseng pills were discarded like this. No longer searching, Meng Haifeng stepped on the flying sword and soared into the sky, rushing towards the direction of Meng Tongyu at the fastest speed. He was numb. He had been searching for three hours and even had so many complete and incomplete blood ginseng pills in his hands. To be honest, he felt that the blood ginseng pills were just that. The next morning, Yi Feng suddenly stood up from the spiritual stone bed. Looking at the two people who were still obsessed with fighting not far away, Yi Feng quickly ran to the east. After using the function of peeping into the secrets of heaven, Yi Feng knew that the other party was about to catch up here. He didn't want the appearance of this enemy to affect Huang Xiaofei's current state of cultivation, therefore, 
he planned to trap the other party in a place where the two could not see. It's you. My son. When Meng Haifeng, who was flying at high speed, saw that only Yi Feng was standing below, he was about to ask where his son and the young master were anxiously, but he saw a black battle flag suddenly appeared in the other party's hand, which made his face suddenly change. Go. Without giving the other party a chance to speak, Yi Feng threw the battle flag in his hand directly. Seeing the gray-robed old man circling directly within a certain range, Yi Feng showed a smug look, raised a middle finger to the other party again, and shouted arrogantly, You old bastard, if you have the guts, keep chasing us. After that, Yi Feng ran towards the direction of Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu without looking back. Asshole. Asshole. No matter where you run to, I will kill you in this life. Seeing Yi Feng lead directly after shouting, Meng Haifeng was so angry that his blood surged up. He swallowed back the blood that was about to spurt out, but his face turned pale in an instant, but the murderous intent in his eyes became more and more cold. Brother Yi, where have you been? When Yi Feng came back, he found that the two had finished their practice, which surprised him and asked, It's over so soon today. Brother Yi, through the crazy fighting in the past two nights, I have completely integrated 1% of the fighting saint body. After the complete integration, I can really exert the power of the fighting saint body. Hearing Yi Feng's question, Huang Xiaotian also explained with a little excitement. It is worthy of being the fighting saint body. It actually needs to be integrated in this way of fighting. Only after the complete integration can the true power be fully revealed. After hearing this, Yi Feng also had a new understanding of the fighting saint body. Okay, let's continue on the road. Don't rest tonight. If nothing unexpected happens, we can reach the Xinghuan sect early tomorrow morning. Thinking that there is still a strong enemy chasing them in the back, and there is no Inyang mystery array flag in his hand, Yi Feng is ready to rush on the road with all his strength. As long as he reaches the Xinghuan sect, if the opponent dares to come again, he will let the blood-sucking mantis beat him so hard that his mother won't recognize him. Hmm? Hearing Yi Feng's words, Meng Tongyu and Huang Xiaofei were also stunned. Through the contact during this period of time, they knew that Yi Feng was extremely concerned about sleep at night. However, the two did not ask the reason in the end. Since Yi Feng made this decision, he naturally had his reasons. Setting out on the road to Xinghuan sect again, Yi Feng also checked today's wasteful products. Today's wasteful product, heaven level top grade skills, demon subduing treasure record hey, after seeing the waste product today, Yi Feng also revealed a touch of surprise, because this is the first time that a waste product of the type of martial arts has appeared, and it is a top grade heavenly grade. This is already the top level martial arts in Xintian continent throw it away directly? Nothing new. Tear it up directly? No creativity. Suddenly, Yi Feng thought of something and looked at Huang Xiaofei beside him and asked, Xiaofei, you haven't had a bowel movement for several days, right? Young Master Yi, as a cultivator, it doesn't matter if you don't eat for a long time, and even if you eat, the impurities produced in the body can be directly purified by spiritual power and there is no need to have a bowel movement like ordinary people to expel impurities in the body. Hearing this, Meng Tongyu on the side smiled and explained. Yes, Brother Yi, although my strength is average, I still have this ability. Huang Xiaofei also said at this time. No, you don't have that ability. Hearing what the two said, Yi Feng stared at Huang Xiaofei and said this directly. What? I have this ability, why do you have to say that I don't have it? Damn it. Brother Yi, are you playing so perverted? Suddenly, Huang Xiaofei felt a tightness behind him, and an extremely terrifying guess suddenly emerged in his mind. What should I do? Should I refuse? No, Brother Yi gave me such a powerful fighting body, can't I bear this little grievance? After struggling for a long time, Huang Xiaofei gritted his teeth and looked at Yi Feng and said, Brother Yi, I want to play. 
He smiled, brother Yi actually laughed when he heard this, and that smile was so evil, I was about to burst. Seeing the evil smile that Yi Feng showed, even though he had prepared himself mentally, Huang Xiaofei was still panicking at this time. Go, remember to wipe it with this. After Yi Feng let Ming Tang Yu fall to the ground, he stuffed a secret book of martial arts directly into Huang Xiaofei's hand. Hmm? That's it? Huang Xiaofei looked at the yellowed paper book in his hand and was stunned for a moment. This was different from what he thought. Chapter 65 Can You Stop Making a Scene for Yourself? Seeing Huang Xiaofei run directly behind a big rock, Yi Feng felt that he was really talented. The secret book of heaven level top grade martial arts was used as toilet paper. Who can be more wasteful than him? Behind the rock, Huang Xiaofei, who was taking a big poop, was also extremely speechless. He almost forgot how many years he hadn't taken a big poop. In boredom, Huang Xiaofei also flipped through the yellow book in his hand. Although the name of the book was blurred, the content and patterns inside were very clear. Huang Xiaofei was completely immersed in it after seeing it, and he seemed to have entered a mysterious state of mind. This breath is. Not far from the rock, Meng Tanyu felt this strange fluctuation and was shocked in an instant. The state of enlightenment, this is the strange fluctuation that can only be emitted when entering enlightenment. The extremely stupid young master actually entered the state of enlightenment that is said to be no less than chance. Young master Yi, what is the book you just gave the young master? After being shocked, Meng Tangyu also hurriedly looked at Yi Feng and asked. Hmm? Seeing Meng Tangyu who was a little abnormal, Yi Feng explained in confusion, it's just a heaven-level top-grade technique. I thought it was a waste, so I thought of letting Xiaofei use it as toilet paper. Young Master Yi, thank you for your kindness. You have given us a great opportunity in this ordinary way. We will remember these favors in our hearts. However, when Yi Feng heard Meng Tangyu say such inexplicable words, for some reason, he suddenly felt a little uneasy and asked quickly, Butler Meng, I don't quite understand what you are talking about. Young Master Yi, it seems that the fighting saint body has many wonderful uses that the young master and I don't know yet. Although it has only been integrated by 1%, you must know that the young master's understanding should have undergone earth-shaking changes, otherwise why would you give him a heaven-level top-grade technique for him to realize? Realization? Realization of heaven-level top-grade techniques? Damn, Yi Feng reacted and quickly covered his right fist with a strong fire spirit power, and then he punched out suddenly, and the fire dragon formed by the fire spirit power instantly smashed the boulder. With a huge bang, countless pieces of gravel of different sizes flew everywhere, and Huang Xiaofei, who was hiding behind the rock and squatting in the big enlightenment, was instantly awakened from the state of enlightenment. Huang Xiaofei, hurry up and use the secret book of the technique I gave you as toilet paper. After seeing the exposed Huang Xiaofei, Yi Feng shouted directly. Stunned. Huang Xiaofei was stunned, and Meng Tangyu on the side was also stunned. But Huang Xiaofei still reacted quickly and tore the secret book of the technique in his hand as toilet paper, but every time he tore off a few pieces, his heart was bleeding. Although the time of enlightenment was short, he already knew the name of this heaven-level upper-grade technique, the Demon Subduing Treasure Record, a top-level technique. After a while, when Huang Xiaofei came back with most of the remaining secret manuals, Yi Feng directly asked him to tear up all the remaining secret manuals. Ding! Failed to spend all the waste products today, deducted 50,000 waste points. Hearing the system prompt sound, Yi Feng wanted to cry to death. He only had more than 60,000 waste points left, and 50,000 were deducted in an instant. Moreover, he felt that it was fortunate that he discovered it early. If Huang Xiaofei had a sudden realization for a while, the deducted waste points might continue to increase exponentially. I understand. At this moment, looking at Yi Feng, whose face was getting uglier and uglier, 
Huang Xiaofei suddenly had a flash of light in his mind, and suddenly he understood everything. Brother Yi, I was wrong. You said before that with the fighting saint body, you don't need any training methods and martial arts at all. You just need to fight continuously to become stronger, and martial arts can also be understood in life and death battles. All my energy should be used in the battle, how can I waste it on the skills, even the top-level heaven-level skills? This should be a test for me, I'm sorry, brother Yi, I let you down. At this time, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng with guilt and said. What? What the hell are you talking about here? What test for you? I just want you to help me lose my family. Can you please stop making a scene for yourself here? Hearing Huang Xiaofei's words, Yi Feng almost spit out a mouthful of old blood. I see. It's ridiculous that I was dissatisfied with you, Master Yi, just now. I thought you ruined the young master's chance. I was short-sighted. Master Yi, you silently did all this for the young master. I was disrespectful to you just now, and I hope you can forgive me. At this time, Meng Tongyu on the side also said with guilt. Nima. What's your business? Do you have to add some drama to yourself? Looking at Meng Tongyu on the side, Yi Feng was really going crazy. You guys are all crazy, right? I just want to spend money. It's obviously a movie, but you guys are going to add drama to it and make it into a TV series? Let's go, let's go, hurry up. No more explanation. Looking at the two people who were too immersed in the play, Yi Feng had completely given up. Think whatever you want. I'm not going to play anymore, you guys can play by yourselves. Sacrificing the flying sword, the three of them set out on the road to Xinghuan sect again. Young master, young master, Yi, seems to be really angry. I'm afraid young master Yi has known that your comprehension has been greatly improved. Why didn't you realize this long ago? Even if you entered the legendary state of enlightenment, you should have woken up by force. Didn't I just react? Young master, Yi must still be angry now. I really don't know how to make young master Yi calm down. Why am I so stupid? Hearing the two whispering in a low voice, Yi Feng on the side had already frowned. We are so close together, what's the point of whispering? Do you really think I'm deaf? Isn't this clearly meant for me? You two have really said enough. I'm not angry anymore, can we be normal? Yi Feng was convinced. He dared to guarantee that if he didn't say this, these two guys would definitely talk to each other. Really? Brother Yi, don't worry, I will never let you down again. One day, when I am successful, I will become a sharp blade in your hand and clear all the enemies in front of you. When Huang Xiaofei said the last sentence, his eyes were full of seriousness. Hmm? Hearing this, looking at Huang Xiaofei with a serious face, Yi Feng said directly, No, I just want to enjoy life as I please, don't disturb my quiet days. Brother Yi, whether you need it or not, I will practice hard, and at the same time, I will make the Chamber of Commerce the first Chamber of Commerce in Xantian continent. No matter when, as long as Brother Yi needs it, my Chamber of Commerce and I will definitely rush to your side at the first time, no matter who your enemy is, even if it is the entire Xantian continent. Wait. Hearing this, Yi Feng looked at Huang Xiaofei with a serious face. He just wanted to say one thing now, isn't the drama you added to yourself a bit too much? Thinking about his second disciple becoming an undercover agent of Tianji Pavilion, thinking about his eldest disciple being the master of Wanhua Valley, and Huang Xiaofei, who is no longer a younger brother, also wants to create the first chamber of commerce in Xantian continent. How come he seems to be playing a chess game that can affect the entire Xantian continent? He just wants to quietly lose his family. What the hell are you doing? Chapter 66 Bloodthirsty Mantis, Beat That Old Man Up I hope he's not serious. Looking at Huang Xiaofei with a serious face, Yi Feng could only think so, after all, he couldn't change other people's ideas. 
Ten hours later, it was near dusk. I'm going to kill you. I'm definitely going to kill you. Meng Haifeng, who finally got rid of the maze, flew up into the sky with a furious look on his flying sword. The terrifying aura of the fourth level of the tribulation realm broke out unscrupulously, causing countless people to avoid and advance along the way, and no one dared to provoke. Night fell. Meng Tongyu, took Yi Feng, and Huang Xiaofei to continue their journey in the night. As they got closer and closer to the Xinghuan sect, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu began to feel a sense of pressure inexplicably. Their chamber of commerce was just a chamber of commerce that had developed for thousands of years. They didn't dare to imagine what kind of behemoth the Xinghuan sect was. The next morning, when the three finally arrived at the Xinghuan sect, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu were stunned. Where is the promised behemoth? Is this extremely deserted sect in front of them really Yi Feng sect? Yi Feng, you still remember to come back. Just as the two were stunned, Luo Chanchua's angry voice came from the sect. Luo Chanchua, by Tianhong, Xia Tianyu, Lung Wufeng, Luo Kai, and the five Tianjios and others quickly walked out of the sect. Xia Tianyu. Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu's eyes fell directly on Xia Tianyu. After all, their chamber of commerce also had some cooperation with Xia Tianyu's Tianyu auction house. Of course, although the two of them knew Xia Tianyu, the other party did not know them. After all, the cooperation with the other party was handled by President Huang Dehai. But the two couldn't figure out why the behind-the-scenes boss of Tianyu Auction House was in this small sect in front of them. Master, why are they here too? Walking in front of Luo Chanchiwe who was full of anger, Yi Feng pointed at the five Tianjiao and asked, curiously. Why are they here? What did you do when you returned to this sect? Don't you have any idea in your mind? Yi Feng, you are really a good disciple of Master. You went out and not only brought back the five core disciples of this sect, but also brought back a sect-protecting monster beast, and even brought back an elder by the way. Looking at Yi Feng, who was confused, Luo Chanchiwe gritted her teeth and said, Wait. Luo Chanchiwe's eyes suddenly fell on Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu, who were not far away. For some reason, she always had an ominous premonition when she saw them. Who are they? Don't tell me they want to join the sect. Luo Chanchiwe stared at Yi Feng and questioned him directly. Master, they are not planning to join our sect. Let me introduce you. This is Huang Xiaofei, the young master of Chenhai Chamber of Commerce, and this is Meng Tongyu, the chief steward of Chenhai Chamber of Commerce. They came back with their disciples this time mainly to discuss some business matters with you, master. Hmm? After hearing Yi Feng's words, especially seeing the playful smile that Yi Feng showed at the end, Luo Chanchiwe always felt that this matter seemed not as simple as it sounded. After all, her sect had just been established. What kind of business dealings could she have with other chambers of commerce? When Xia Tianyu, who was standing behind, heard the identities of the two, he showed a trace of doubt. Although he didn't know the two, he knew Huang Dehai the president of Chenhai Chamber of Commerce. Is this Kiji Feng? Luo Kai's eyes fell on Yi Feng at this time, and he even began to think about how to please Yi Feng next, so that he could get some purple thunder lion fairy blood from Yi Feng. You too, my Xinghuan sect has been established for less than a month, and as you can see, there are not many disciples in the sect. The most important thing is that our sect is poor and destitute, and there is no sufficient financial resources to buy cultivation resources for disciples. I think we should forget about the cooperation. Luo Chanchiwe walked in front of Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tanyu at this time, and spoke directly with an indifferent look. As the holy maiden of Wuji sect, even though she spends most of her time cultivating, her father in this life is the sect master of Xingji sect after all. Even the powerful Xingji sect has an extraordinary relationship with some chambers of commerce and auction houses, and buys a large amount of cultivation resources from them every month. Hmm? 
However, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu were stunned when they heard this. Poverty? With Yi Feng, the prodigal son, how can your sect be poor? Apart from anything else, the cultivation resources that can be purchased with the more than 9,009 pattern blood ginseng pills thrown away before are probably enough for the current disciples of your sect to consume for more than 10 years. Sect Master Luo, I think you may have misunderstood. This is not the purpose of our visit this time. As he said this, Huang Xiaofei told the transaction details of the blood ginseng pill recipe. Stunned. After hearing this, Luo Chanxiwe was stunned. The recipe for the blood ginseng pill, an eighth grade recipe that has long been lost, if the blood ginseng pill can really be refined and sold exclusively, the profit is simply unimaginable. But what does this have to do with her? She relies on the fact that the sect has nothing to reject people who come to worship the sect every day, but now she is told that the Xinghuan sect will receive a large amount of spirit stones every month in the future? Master, as your direct disciple, the eldest brother of all the brothers in the sect, it is my responsibility to help the sect grow and develop. At this time, Yi Feng came over and said to Luo Qianxue with a righteous face, he even imagined how Luo Chanxue would praise him next. After all, looking at the entire Shantian continent, where can you find a disciple like him who is willing to work hard for the sect? Looking at Yi Feng's smug look of wanting to praise me, Luo Chanxue was so angry that her face was full of frost, and she wanted to slap Yi Feng to death with a slap. I know. I know that there is absolutely no good thing for these two people to come. I know that anything related to Yi Feng, this evil disciple, will never be a good thing. I don't want to develop the sect, I don't want to develop the sect. If my cultivation plan is disrupted like this, when will I be able to pass the tribulation and ascend to the upper realm to take revenge? Luo Chanxiu's mentality, at this time, was completely blown up. Ding! Remind the host that the grey-robed old man will arrive at Xinghuan sect in three minutes, and one opportunity to spy on the secrets of the heavens will be deducted today. At this moment, the system's reminder sounded in Yi Feng's mind. This was because Yi Feng had already ordered the system to use one opportunity to spy on the secrets of the heavens. If the grey-robed old man dared to chase us again, he would be reminded when he was about to catch up with them. Xiaoshua, there is a grey-robed old man chasing us all the way, and he is about to catch up with Xinghuan sect. You go over to intercept him in advance. Don't kill him first, beat him up so hard that even his mother can't recognize him. Yi Feng waved to the blood-sucking mantis that had transformed into a human form not far away, and finally issued an order to intercept. Chapter 67 Brother Yi, has anyone been chasing us these days? Shashua obeys your command. After saying that, the blood-sucking mantis swung the feather fan in his hand handsomely, and even glanced at Xia Tian Tian and Du Tianyue, two of the five geniuses. Then the blood-sucking mantis in white flew into the sky and disappeared from everyone's sight in a few breaths. What? Damn, were you just showing off? Seeing the blood-sucking mantis showing off so smoothly just now, Yi Feng was stunned. You, a monster, are also adding drama to yourself? Crazy. Yi Feng felt that no matter whether it was a human or a monster around him, they were all too abnormal. Everyone said, yes, you are the only one who is normal, you crazy prodigal. Southeast of Xinghuan sect. Almost there. You finally stopped to rest. I don't believe you still have that kind of high-grade battle flag. If I don't kill you, I'm not Meng Haifeng. Realizing that Meng Tongyu finally stopped moving quickly, Meng Haifeng felt that his chance for revenge had finally come. Hmm? At this moment, Meng Haifeng, who was flying at high speed, suddenly stopped in midair. Looking at the young man in white holding a feather fan on the opposite side who blocked his way, he said directly, I don't want to kill you, get out of the way. Ha ha, the blood-sucking mantis couldn't help laughing when he heard this and said, you are only at the fourth level of the tribulation realm. 
Who gave you the courage to chase my master all the way? Who are you? Hearing the other party directly say his cultivation level, Meng Haifeng's face instantly became solemn. You know, he didn't release the aura of the fourth level of the tribulation realm now. That proves that the other party's strength is far above him. Wait, your master, you are a monster. And soon, Meng Haifeng suddenly realized something, looked at the blood-sucking mantis opposite him, and exclaimed with a drastic change of expression. Bang! The blood-sucking mantis stretched out its right hand towards Meng Haifeng and pressed it suddenly. A suffocating and terrifying pressure fell down. Even though Meng Haifeng had been on guard, he couldn't withstand this terrifying aura and pressure and knelt down directly in the void. His whole body trembled constantly under this terrifying pressure, and he couldn't resist at all. I am a great demon at the ninth level of the tribulation realm who has withstood two heavenly thunder tribulations. If I can't even handle you, my master will be angry. But don't worry, my master is not going to kill you for now. After I teach you a lesson, I will take you to see my master. At that time, whether you live or die will depend on my master's whim. As he said that, the blood-sucking mantis appeared in front of Meng Haifeng in the blink of an eye, and punched Meng Haifeng in the face with a terrifying brute force. It remembered very clearly that Yi Feng had only one order, to hit him so hard that even his mother couldn't recognize him, so the main attack area must be the face. Inside Xinghuan sect. Huang Xiaofei suddenly realized that the sound transmission Jade Pendant had reacted, and quickly released a trace of consciousness into the sound transmission Jade Pendant. Father, what are you talking about? We haven't seen Elder Meng. What, Elder Meng has been chasing us for three days? Wait a minute, you said that Elder Meng just sent you a call for help, and now he is almost killed? After finishing the sound transmission, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng anxiously and asked, Brother Yi, have you seen an old man in a gray robe in the past two days? Hmm? I didn't expect you to find me. You don't have to thank me for this. After all, we are now partners. But I still have to remind you that you must ensure that your whereabouts are not known to the enemy when you go out in the future. If it weren't for me this time, you would have been killed by that old man. You two don't know that the old man's pursuit of you is simply to the point of being crazy. He has been chasing you for almost three days. Yi Feng looked at Huang Xiaofei and said with a calm smile. I found me? If I hadn't found you again, Mr. Meng from our Chamber of Commerce would have been killed by you. And why did you think that the other party was here to hunt us down? Why didn't you tell us after chasing us for three days? This misunderstanding has become a big deal. Huang Xiaofei was really going crazy at this time. He could feel that Yi Feng had good intentions, but this was a misunderstanding. Brother Yi, please let the person you sent out come back quickly. The old man who has been chasing us is the father of housekeeper Meng. He is not an enemy. Thinking that Mr. Meng was in danger at this time, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng anxiously and explained. Hmm? The father of housekeeper Meng? Damn it! Hearing Huang Xiaofei's words, especially seeing the other party's anxious look, Yi Feng was also shocked. His head felt buzzing. The old man who had been playing for three days turned out to be Meng Tongyu's father. Chasing? My father? Meng Tongyu on the side was also confused, and even didn't understand what the two of them meant for a while. Peng. At this moment, a muffled sound came from not far away, and an old man with a swollen face, like a pig's head, fell heavily to the ground. A blood-sucking mantis in white clothes and holding a feather fan slowly fell from the air. The general was playing to the extreme. Father. Meng Tongyu saw the old man, even though he was a pig's head, he recognized him at a glance and ran over with an anxious look. At this time, Luo Qianxue, Xia Tianyu, Luo Kai, the five prodigies and others on the side also looked at Yi Feng with a strange look. They heard the conversation between the two clearly. 
combined with the current situation, they have completely understood everything. The father of the Chamber of Commerce's housekeeper has been chasing for three days, but you treated him as an enemy and played with him for three days. Now you let the blood-sucking mantis beat him into a pig head. Who can do such a thing? After a while, when Huang Xiaofei explained the whole story to Meng Haifeng, Meng Haifeng almost cried. It felt like he was misunderstood as an enemy, and he played with him for three days, but he was silently protecting his young master and his son. What can he do? He can only bear this grievance silently, not to mention that he is now extremely fortunate that the other party did not order the terrifying monster to kill him directly, otherwise he would die too aggrieved. Mr. Meng, I'm so sorry. But when I woke up, I saw you sitting on the ground, staring at Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu, who were fighting with an angry look, and you kept cursing. Who would behave like that? Yi Feng also walked in front of Meng Haifeng and explained with an embarrassed look on his face. Hmm, hearing this, Meng Haifeng also recalled the first time they met. At that time, he was full of anger and kept cursing because of Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu's desperate fighting style and wasteful waste of nine-pattern blood ginseng pill, but he didn't expect that it was because of this that Yi Feng misunderstood him. Meng Lao, I haven't seen you for many years. How are you? At this time, Xia Tianyu came over and greeted Meng Haifeng with a smile. Ba Xia. Seeing the person coming, Meng Haifeng was also surprised. He had seen the other party many times before when he was with the president, but he didn't expect that the other party would be here. Chapter 68 Little Yellow Dog Breaks Through the Sword Heart Realm, Everyone Goes Crazy. What boss, Xia, I don't care about the auction house now. Now I am just an elder of Xinghuan sect. I have worked hard all my life, and it's time to find a place to retire. Xia Tianyu looked at Meng Haifeng and explained with a smile. What? Hearing Xia Tianyu's words, Meng Haifeng was shocked. He didn't believe what the other party said, which proved that the Xinghuan sect in front of him was definitely not ordinary and there was definitely something that could attract the other party. Since your Chamber of Commerce wants to cooperate with our sect, then I will be an intermediary to introduce you. This is our Xinghuan sect's sect master Luo Chanchua, and she is also the jewel in the crown of Xingji sect's sect master Luo Wuming. These five are the five core disciples of Xingji sect. You should know what they represent very well. By Tianhong, the elder of Xingji sect. Luo Kai, a longtime friend of Xingji sect sect master Luo Wuming, is also an elder of Xinghuan sect. There's no need to introduce it, it's the sect's guardian monster and Yi Feng's battle pet. Xia Tianyu looked at Meng Haifeng and smiled as he briefly introduced the situation of the people in the sect. He couldn't help showing off. After all, they were all old acquaintances. Now that he was an elder of the sect, he naturally had to let the other party know how powerful the sect was. Lung Wufeng, who was standing behind, was almost crying. As more and more people joined the sect, he felt that his presence was getting lower and lower. He was the second disciple to join the sect. Meng Haifeng had already been stunned by what he heard. Who would have thought that this inconspicuous sect in front of him was so terrible? Boom. At this moment, a surge of Huang Quan sword intent came from a distance, which made Meng Haifeng's face change again. He didn't expect that this small Xinghuan sect actually had such a talented swordsman. Woof woof woof. However, when a little yellow-headed dog came running from a distance with an excited look, Meng Haifeng was stunned, and so were Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu beside him. A dog actually comprehended the ultimate Huang Quan sword intent. Can you believe this? When the rest of the people saw the little yellow dog running over, their facial muscles trembled uncontrollably, but their eyes showed an extremely envious look, not for anything else, but because this little yellow dog was raised by Yi Feng, and Yi Feng was willing to give this dog any good things. Dog. Seeing the little yellow dog running over, Yi Feng also showed a smile, and casually took out a sword heart advanced fragment and put it on the forehead of the little yellow dog. 
When everyone saw the sword heart advanced fragment in Yi Feng's hand, although they didn't know what it was, they all showed a little envy, because they knew that the things Yi Feng could take out, especially the things for the little yellow dog, were not ordinary things. Boom! As the little yellow dog absorbed the power of the sword heart advanced fragment, a terrifying Huang Quan sword intent rushed up from the little yellow dog's body. As the Huang Quan sword intent rose step by step, a yellow sword embryo visible to the naked eye gradually condensed and formed. The Realm of the Sword Heart The Prototype of the Sword Embryo When everyone saw the sword embryo that was gradually condensed and formed, they all cried out in surprise. I knew it, I knew that what Brother Yi had in his hand couldn't be an ordinary thing. Thinking of how Yi Feng had taken out the sword heart advancement fragment to show off at the beginning, he and Butler Meng didn't know what kind of treasure it was at the time, but since it was put together with the nine-leaf soul-returning grass, the golden silkworm star shining stone, and the blood of an unknown giant goblin, they guessed that it was not an ordinary thing. But they didn't expect it to be so terrifying that it could allow those who had comprehended the ultimate sword intent to directly break through to the sword heart realm. Thinking of this, Huang Xiaofei also revealed a look of relief. Even the heaven-defying physique of the fighting saint body could be given to him casually, so what was the point of giving this sword heart advancement fragment to a dog? Huh. I'm not angry, I'm not angry. It was originally his thing. He can give it to anyone he wants. I'm not angry. Although Luo Chanchua tried to calm herself down at this time, she was still getting angrier and angrier, and she was almost crying. That was a heaven-defying treasure that could directly break through the ultimate sword intent to the realm of sword heart. The great ancestor Luo Tianqing practiced for hundreds of years and only practiced to the realm of sword heart, and that was on the premise that he got several opportunities in the battlefield of heaven. Damn it, this brat had distributed the extremely precious corpses of the big monsters to countless disciples of the Xingji sect for barbecue. I thought that was the limit, but I didn't expect that he had such a treasure in his hand, and the way he spent money was simply blinding my eyes. Luo Kai, who was standing aside, was glad that he had made the most correct decision in his life, that is, to run here, to become an elder. Yi Feng could spend money to such an extent, even a dog could get such a good thing, as long as he performed well enough, would he be afraid of not getting a little soup? Basic Operation These are all basic operations of the junior brother. Why do you all look like you have never seen the world? Looking at the shocked people, Chen Haoyu, the eldest brother of the five prodigies, talked to himself nonchalantly at this time, after rejecting Luo Chanxiu's invitation, Meng Haifeng quickly left Xinghuan sect with Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tongyu. He had to ask his young master and son about some things, including the deal Xia Tian you mentioned before. Tell me, what deal did you make with Xinghuan sect on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce? Don't say it's related to the recipe of blood ginseng pill. Although that guy does have a lot of blood ginseng pills, even nine pattern blood ginseng pills, I still don't believe he really has the recipe of blood ginseng pill. After leaving the blood soul sect, Meng Haifeng directly questioned the two. Boom. A weak but unyielding fighting spirit that made people feel pressure broke out from Huang Xiaofei's body, and a faint golden light appeared on his body which made Meng Haifeng's face change drastically. A few minutes later, Brother Yi even has this kind of heaven-defying fighting holy body, what's the blood ginseng pill recipe? Huang Xiaofei didn't waste words, and directly used the heaven-defying fighting holy body to prove to Meng Haifeng that the blood ginseng pill recipe they thought was extremely precious was like waste paper in Yi Feng's eyes. The other party didn't bother to deceive them at all. Since the other party said that the blood ginseng pill recipe was true, it must be true. Father, you can never imagine that this fighting holy body is far from as simple as we just said. Just after integrating 1%, the young master's understanding has undergone earth-shaking changes. Even if it is a heaven-level top-grade technique, it can enter the realm of enlightenment at a glance. Meng Tongyu also added at this time. Heaven-level top-grade technique? Where is it? 
Hearing this, Meng Haifeng also hurriedly asked. You know, even the top-level skills of their Chenhai Chamber of Commerce are only a low-grade heavenly skills. Chapter 69 Luo Kai I know you are not holding back anything good. Use it as toilet paper to relieve the big shit. Huang Xiaofei looked at Meng Haifeng, who was anxious, and said with a proud face. He felt that it was definitely the most luxurious thing he had done in his life. What? Hearing this, Meng Haifeng was so angry that he raised his right hand and wanted to hit him directly, but suddenly thought that the other party was his young master, and finally decided to leave this slap to the president. Let's go. If the blood ginseng pill recipe is real, I will come to visit Xinghu Insect again with the president. A 10% profit is impossible. The other party gives our chamber of commerce face, but we can't pretend to understand and be confused. At least we have to give the other party 20% or 30% profit. Xinghu Insect, in the sect hall. Master, is there anything? Seeing Luo Qianqiwei calling him over alone, especially seeing the other party's unfriendly eyes, Yi Feng said he was a little panicked, but after thinking about it, he didn't seem to cause any trouble during this period. My direct disciple, I really underestimated you. You have only been away from the sect for a few days, but how many identities do you have now? The sixth core disciple of our sect. Honorary elder of our sect. You founded your own sect, and even accepted the master of Wanhua Valley as your disciple. Direct disciple, elder, master. Tell me, what do you want me to call you? Luo Chanchua stared at Yi Feng and asked with anger. He he. Yi Feng also smiled awkwardly after hearing this. He didn't expect Luo Chanchua to know all these things so quickly. Master, I promise you here that I am your direct disciple in life and death. I will always be your direct disciple. Yi Feng patted his chest and shouted sincerely at this time, but in his heart he was thinking that he would have the opportunity to cultivate feelings with his master. He didn't say that he couldn't have an additional identity of a Taoist partner in the future. Even though Luo Chanchiwe was cold all day long, Yi Feng knew that his master was a kind person with a sharp tongue, but a soft heart. He believed that as long as he quietly helped his master to expand the sect, he would surely move the other party one day. After all, he was a spendthrift rich man. He didn't have much, but he had a lot of spirit stones. Thinking of a movie he had seen in his previous life, Xia Zhu didn't like money, but every moment Wan Duiyu touched Xia Zhu was about money. He also believed that as long as he persisted in giving spirit stones to the sect, he would sooner or later move his master. Although he didn't know what Yi Feng was thinking at this moment, Luo Chanchue still felt a little warm in her heart when she heard this. No matter what the process of accepting a disciple was like, Yi Feng was her only direct disciple in two lives after all. Master, my bad family was just a joke. This should be what the little sister-in-law told you. Didn't she tell you that the master of Wanhua Valley actually worshipped me as his master because he lost a bet with me? And I don't want to be the honorary elder of this sect. I really can't stand the five great ancestors who insisted on giving me such an identity. Seeing that Luo Chanchue didn't speak, Yi Feng also explained again. After hearing Yi Feng's explanation, Luo Chanchue didn't expect that there were some things she didn't know about these things. If it was really as Yi Feng said, then it was indeed not Yi Feng's fault. The status of elder was given by the five great ancestors, and the reason for accepting the master of Wanhua Valley as a disciple was because of a bet. How could she continue to be angry? Okay, forget about these things. The great ancestor contacted me once before and asked me to remind you of one thing. No matter how many top-grade spirit crystals you have, you must not waste another one. Even if it is a top-grade spirit crystal, it doesn't matter, but all the top-grade spirit crystals must be kept. At this point, Luo Chanchue pretended to be mysterious and continued. Do you know that there is a mysterious place in the Tiandao battlefield? Master, are you talking about Tiandao City? I've been there before, 
but unfortunately, my Tiandao order can only let me stay there for half a day, but I spent most of my time wandering around. After I recharged a wave, I was directly teleported out. Top Grade Spiritual Crystal A mysterious place in the Tiandao battlefield. After hearing these two important information points, Yi Feng felt that Luo Chanchiwe wanted to talk about Tiandao City, so he simply told her about his visit to Tiandao City. And Luo Chanchiwe was still trying to arouse Yi Feng's curiosity, but who would have thought that the other party not only directly mentioned Tiandao City, but also had been there? Mental Collapse Luo Chanchiwe's mentality was completely collapsed at this time. You know, the news of Tiandao City was still learned by him from the great ancestor. Who would have thought that his prodigal disciple had actually been there? She was so frustrated as a master. Master, that Tiandao City is really fun, let me tell you about it. Next, Luo Chanchua listened quietly to Yi Feng's description of the technological Tiandao City, like a curious baby. She was so fascinated by what she heard that she wanted to go to Tiandao City right away to see those magical technological products with her own eyes. Master, rest assured. I will go to the Tiandao battlefield again after a while and will definitely find a few Tiandao orders for you. Then I will take you to Tiandao City to enjoy it. All the big guys in the tribulation realm will have to come and stand in a row to serve tea and water to you. Yi Feng said with a rich and generous smile. Hearing this, Luo Chanchua's eyes changed when she looked at Yi Feng again. She could feel that these words were from Yi Feng's heart. At this moment, she felt that having such a prodigal disciple who thought of everything for her was a kind of luck for her. Changed. Master's eyes changed when he looked at me. Yi Feng was overjoyed when he found that Luo Chanchua's eyes had changed when he looked at him. This easily improved the relationship between master and disciple. Luo Chanchua suddenly woke up and saw Yi Feng looking at her with a smile on his face. Thinking of her emotions just now, her face turned red instantly. She waved her hand and said, Okay, you go down first. I will report the situation of Tiandao City to the great ancestor immediately. Seeing the shy Luo Chanchua, Yi Feng knew that he couldn't rush it. He nodded and left the sect hall directly. Yi Feng, let me introduce myself. I am Luo Kai, the new elder of the sect, and I am a physical cultivator. If you have any hard work in the future, just look for me. Elder Bai and Elder Xia are old. Don't bother them if you don't have anything to do. It would be bad if they are tired. Luo Kai had been waiting outside the sect hall for a long time. When he saw Yi Feng coming out, he hurried forward and introduced himself with a smile. Luo Kai, I knew you had no good intentions this time. At this moment, Bai Tianhong's angry voice came from a distance. Looking at Bai Tianhong and Xia Tianyu, who were walking towards him with anger, Luo Kai also showed a touch of embarrassment. Who would have thought that he would be caught for the first time in his life when he was talking bad about others behind their backs? Chapter 70 Yi Feng, A Walking Treasure House of Opportunities Three Elders, There is no physical work today, and it depends on the situation tomorrow. Well, if there is physical work, I will definitely trouble you three, how about it? Looking at the three people who were on the verge of a fight, Yi Feng also hurriedly acted as a peacemaker. After all, he knew very well what the three people were thinking. They just wanted to get something good from him. After hearing what Ji Feng said, Bai Tianhong and Xia Tianyu looked at Luo Kai and snorted coldly, then turned and walked away, while Luo Kai also smiled at Ji Feng awkwardly, and then walked away. It doesn't matter whether it's embarrassing or not. Anyway, Ji Feng promised him a chance, which is enough. Why did he come here? Isn't it for the big goblin blood in Ji Feng's hand? Junior brother. When Yi Feng returned to his residence, Wu Tianjiao and Lung Wufeng also rushed towards him with excitement. Hey, looking at the six people running towards him, Yi Feng sighed helplessly. Excellent people are always the focus of attention wherever they go. Junior brother, 
I didn't expect that after you went out for a few days, your strength has broken through from the peak of the ninth level of the Qidong realm to the peak of the ninth level of the Foundation Establishment realm. It seems that you must have got a great opportunity in the Tiandao battlefield. Chen Hao you noticed Ji Feng's current realm and said with great surprise. Lung Wufeng on the side curled his lips when he heard this. The five Tianjiao had never seen Yi Feng's breakthrough method like a rocket, but he had seen it with his own eyes. Not to mention that he has broken through to the peak of the ninth level of the foundation establishment realm now. Even if he breaks through to the peak of the ninth level of the tribulation realm, he will not feel surprised, and he dares to guarantee that Yi Feng's strength breakthrough has absolutely nothing to do with opportunity. Big brother, how many minutes did it take you to break through? Did you break through from the ninth peak of the Qidong realm all the way to the ninth peak of the foundation establishment realm? With the arrival of everyone, Lung Wufeng felt that his sense of existence was getting lower and lower. He finally waited until his dearest big brother came back, so he had to find a sense of existence next to him. When the five Tianjiao heard Lung Wufeng's words, they were all stunned. After being stunned, they covered their stomachs and laughed. The look in their eyes when they looked at Lin Wufeng was as if they were looking at a big fool. Junior brother Wufeng, I have no ill intentions, but have you become stupid from refining pills? Even if junior brother Yi Feng is extraordinary, it is impossible for him to break through directly from the ninth peak of the Qidong realm to the ninth peak of the foundation establishment realm, directly crossing two major realms. That is simply impossible. Let alone the major realms, even if you can directly break through two minor realms, it is extremely lucky, and you still need to stabilize the realm afterwards, not to mention that the foundation establishment realm requires the creation of a spiritual lotus. If opening up the spiritual sea is the first level of a cultivator, creating a spiritual lotus is the second level. Chen Haoyu also explained to Lung Wufeng at this time. After all, Lung Wufeng's strength is only the ninth peak of the Rongling realm, and he has not yet created a spiritual lotus to impact the foundation establishment. Brother Wufeng, you really understand me. You don't know how great it was for me to break through from the ninth level of the Qidong realm to the ninth level of the foundation establishment realm. It's a pity that no one could witness such a shocking breakthrough scene. Speaking of this, Yi Feng also thought of the two corpses in the cave at that time. In the end, he never said that the scene was witnessed by the two corpses. He felt that it was too embarrassing. After hearing what Yi Feng said, the five Tianjiao were dumbfounded. They didn't believe Lung Wufeng's words, but Yi Feng said this. Although they didn't have much contact time, they knew one thing, that is, no matter what Yi Feng said, it was absolutely true because the other party had no need to lie to them. But if it was true, they couldn't imagine how shocking the terrifying scene of the realm would be. Wufeng's strength, it stands to reason that you ate so many nine-pattern Qingxian pills at that time, your physique has already undergone earth-shaking changes, why haven't you tried to impact the foundation? Yi Feng looked at Lung Wufeng and asked, curiously. Swish. 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 Hearing Yi Feng's words, the five Tianjiao rushed directly to Lung Wufeng and surrounded him, and then released spiritual power to check Lung Wufeng's physique. Pure and extreme. This was the only thought of the five Tianjiao after checking. Wufeng Jr. Brother, how many nine-pattern Qingxian pills did you eat? Qingxian pills are top grade? With a look of shock, Chen Haoyu looked at Lung Wufeng and asked the doubts in his heart. Third grade nine pattern Qingxian pills. I also forgot how much I ate. Anyway, I ate until I was full and vomited. Fortunately, my strength is the peak of the ninth level of Rongling Realm, and this third grade Qingxian pill happened to be effective for me. It can be said that this opportunity was given to me by the eldest brother. Lung Wufeng looked at the five Tianjiao with a proud face and explained. So what if he is a genius? Apart from anything else, just because his body has been baptized by countless nine-pattern Qingxian pills, his future achievements may not be lower than theirs. I envy him. 
Eating until he is full and vomiting, such a wasteful behavior, is indeed in line with the style of the junior brother. Moreover, if their bodies can be baptized to such a degree, coupled with their talents, comprehension, spiritual roots, etc., I dare not imagine how terrifying my upper limit will be. At this moment, none of the five prodigies dared to look down on Lung Wufeng. With this pure physique, his future achievements would not necessarily be lower than theirs. Big brother, I originally wanted to impact the foundation building realm, but master told me to wait for you to come back. After all, foundation building and lotus making are also extremely important steps for cultivators. Seeing the shocked five prodigies, Lung Wufeng looked at Yi Feng and explained. I see. But I don't have anything good to help you at the moment, so you wait for a while. After listening, Yi Feng also understood what Luo Qianxue meant, but at the moment, he didn't have anything that could help Lung Wufeng, so he could only wait for a while. Envy After listening to the conversation between the two, the five prodigies were so envious that their eyes turned purple. Lung Wufeng's pure physique is already terrifying. If Yi Feng helps him when he builds his foundation, he will definitely take off. It can be said that with Yi Feng's promise, Lung Wufeng's future achievements will definitely exceed theirs. Thinking of this, the five geniuses felt uncomfortable instantly. Why didn't they meet Yi Feng in advance when they built their foundation? If so, their fate will also change dramatically. Wait, suddenly, the five Tianjiao thought of one thing. That is, they are all in the ninth level of the Purple Mansion realm, and only Chen Haoyu has reached the peak of the ninth level of the Purple Mansion realm. The next step is to refine the lotus and transform into a spirit, and impact the Yuanshan realm. Yuanshan realm is also an extremely important part of cultivation. Thinking of this, Chen Haoyu was especially glad that he had been suppressing his cultivation and did not rush to impact the Yuanshan realm otherwise he would have missed another great opportunity. At this time, the five Tianjiao looked at Yi Feng again, feeling that Yi Feng was simply a walking treasure house of opportunities.